Greetings adventurers and welcome back to the second part of this second session of what is totally a one-shot. Honest. Now, while I don't think there's anything quite as awesome as riding a, a, a mini... What do, you, what do you call it? A tidal wave? Anyway, riding the rushing waters in a rowboat with a guy on front playing an electric guitar with a giant eagle hovering over the whole thing. There's still going to be one or two fun moments in this as well and uh, it's it's stuff like this that makes me glad that I started playing d and I've been missing out all these years but anyway I finally caught up now so let's get back to it and see what the party's up to next can I make a check to see if if, <laughs> if Ulrich's daisy chain survived the fight intact uh, sure kind of check do you want to make uh god what would be the closest to like a crafting check do you know it was to see how well made it was <laughs> it survived <laughs> intact um i guess i don't even know light of hand be. or performance uh i'll do, I'll do sleight of hand user joined your channel oh it fell off Oh, wow. Unfortunately, it didn't survive all the fire. <coughs> I definitely did not just nearly spill tea all over my keyboard. <laughs> it's not a thing that just happened. <laughs> Almost did a wash stream. It's fine. I know that feeling all too well. It's fine. I should probably point out at this stage that Obrook has no idea why we're chasing this guy. <laughs> he's just seen the rest of you doing it and so he's, he's joining in. Seems like the thing to do. So far, she just shot you. Has proven to be quite elusive. I'm back. Welcome back. All right. Oh, the fight calms down. Take a look around you. There are lots of craters from the bombing run from the air cavalry. And also lots of burned kobolds around from the fireball. I imagine the boat would probably not float at this point. No, not anymore. It took quite a beating. But actually, if you would spend a day trying to repair it, it, it could be used on a river again. We should definitely do that. I don't think if it's that might be a best use of our time, seeing as pointing at the direction where that uh, one guy ran. I'm like, There's not too much water where we are going right now. Yep, the river is back to a really, really small... Oh, how's everybody doing? Are we good to go? I think so. I could... oh, I'm about two thirds health. Laosian's pretty beat up. Yeah, but if we change now, then I might be able to heal myself later. I, mean, I could throw a bit of healing, but I'm not one of those fancy pants paladins and stuff, so not too much. No, I can throw a bit of healing, but it would require time, and I doubt Turn will want, will have the time to spare for that. Is it possible? This would be totally cheating, I know, but is it possible to get the endless keg to produce healing potions? You can try. <laughs> so, Ubrook has the like the one bright thought he's had in probably the last six months, and pulls out the 
the endless keg and says healing potions to it what happens and for the first time you open the keg and nothing comes out of it okay uh, oh, did you break it so he looks, he looks kind anymore? of disappointed and holds it up and shakes it over his head did you break it is it empty now i i guess it doesn't do those he shrugs and says, does it work? Does it work with still, still and says, Still holding anymore? it over his head, looking... And just as you say beer, it comes sloshing out all of you. <laughs> no, still works. All, all, all I wanted to sweat. Replacing it with a good beer sheen. I mean, if, if you... If you need to rest, we should rest, but... No, I... I... Cast um, Healing Spirit. And after he, d he does that, I was like, or we can use healing potions. I already cast this, so... Yeah. I, <laughs> I want oh, to yeah. designate a five-foot cube and keep walking through it. Okay, up to one minute each turn, so six times. So you can roll, what is it? 1d6, 66. 66, and then we'll back, be, uh, back in the other guys that also need healing to do the same. It's gonna be 10d6. Oh, you're fucking right. I'm sorry. Math. 10d6. All of you can roll 10d6 <laughs> as you just... I don't know. <laughs> parade line, through line. the healing spirits, yeah. <laughs> now it fits us really well. Some bagpipe music. Upper up probably mm -hmm. smells better than usual right now. I just had that thought. Being covered smells in beer. beer. Yeah. Healed 37, and I needed 7. I'm still not back to full health. How much do you need? 5. But that's Cheer not that important. Thank you. Uh, Kalduk, Kalduk, how much do you need? Oh, not again. Are you, you asking me? Yeah, I, I thought because uh, you had, but I didn't update it yet, I guess. Uh, yeah, I hadn't clicked off it, sorry. Just trying to check if my uh, temporary hit points come back or not, but I don't think they do. No, oh, that's certainly useful. Get the laws in. Oh, we better get going then if uh, there's nothing else. I started heading off. Yep, let's go. Okay. So you start following the roughly maintained road again that starts after after this oh, narrow part of the canyon again. You start with the blood trail is going? Yes. That's okay. And well, 200 feet further, you see the cliff walls part. And you enter a wide forested valley. Um, old growth trees tower over the valley floor, creating an impressive canopy. And the river flows westward, basically cutting through to a center of the forest. Or at least you assume, after a few hundred feet, it's really hard to see where everything goes. Through the, uh, through the trees. Um, there is roughly maintained road you've been following for a good part of the day. Also follows the river deeper into the center of the forest. Um, off to the wait a second west. Off to the no north, um, you do see a small game trail leading off and uh, following basically the outer part of the valley. Or how to put it, the, the cliff walls that form the valley. And to yourself, there's just forest. With no roads or trails leading towards it. We had a, we were given a rough 
map of how to get the how to get to the what was it like a keep and a mine? Uh, yes, remembering the beer doodle. Um, Ubrook, you know that following the road next to the river towards the west should lead you straight to the castle or the old keep. Okay, so I kind of indicate to the rest of the group that we should be going this away. Is the blood trail still there? Yeah. I point out the blood trail as like, yeah, we know. The blood, tra huh. the blood trail is actually <laughs> not following west, but uh, you see sprinkles on it on this game trail that goes to the north, taking to the. Uh, so it's either going somewhere else or taking a different route to get there. Um, you think it curves around to the center as well. But uh, it would be taking a bit longer to get there. Um, you two are pointing in different directions. I'm just saying. Eh. Might be just uh, another another route, or there might be might be a camp. I don't like surprises, so I would like to check where the trail goes. The blood trail. Ubrook just kind of shrugs. What about everybody else? Sure. I mean, I don't like forests, but yeah. Well, I love forests, so sure. How can you like some? Everything gets so itchy. I mean, it's better than a cave. Uh, mosquitoes as well. Nah, no, they're not that bad. I'd follow you to the trail. Alright. What time is it about now? Um, it's starting to get afternoonish. Okay. There's no, plenty of time still. So, as you follow this trail close to the cliff walls of the valley, come across uh, spots of blood. Uh, quite easy to follow. You fit the dragon, uh, the drake, rather hard, and the uh, source of blood to follow. It's easy to follow as well. And as you are, uh, say, 50 feet into um, the tree line, you start hearing the, the, the sound of falling water. So it seems that there's another waterfall close. Oh, you better start looking around like, hmm? Not again. You don't see anything for now. And the next 50 feet, uh, you start getting into clearing and you see a waterfall, and this time a proper one, like 30 feet wide, falling down the 100 feet cliffside, crashing down into a small lake that forms there. And across the lake there is uh, a number of rocks that kind of lead towards the waterfall, and really close to it with the waterfall, there's the hunting drake with its rider jumping from rock to rock, making its way towards the waterfall. How, how far? How much? Um, it's now roughly 50 feet into the water and needs another 30 to reach the waterfall. Uh, so 50 feet away from us or? Yes. Hunter's mark on it. Not the right. rider. And last first level spell slot. Uh, spell slot. All right, so I let, let I just hold my hand up, and I like let him go. Let him go. I don't know where he is. I, I want to look carefully if he does anything special on the rocks or if they're avoiding traps or anything like that. Okay. Um, 
it does look to you like uh, he's just trying to keep his footing because he's badly hurt and the rocks, especially closer to the waterfall, seem coated in water, so slightly slippery. And as you watch, he makes another huge leap to the last rock before the waterfall. And then gathers his strength and leaps one more time right through it and vanishes from your sight. So, uh, leaping over the last rock before the waterfall or the second to last rock? So, we're at the base looking up. Oh, okay, I thought the waterfall was going down from our level, but it's actually oh, going... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's coming down to you. Right. It's just bunny hopping the rocks in, and then vanishes into the waterfall. Nothing special. So he wasn't avoiding any rocks? No. Oh, okay, I, um, I understood. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Ubrook right. stares at the waterfall for a long moment and then disappears behind a tree for a couple of minutes. <laughs> no? Sound of running water? No? Anybody? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a second, but yeah, I just did, yeah. Uh, I thought there was some other weird <laughs> thing. Uh, so, I guess this is the last opportunity to have rest if we need to. The more time we give them, more time they will prepare, most likely, more time it, that one will heal. What? Well, uh, so, now that we're actually closer, uh, did. Uh, the thing that he's using to shoot us. What does it look like? Oh yeah, uh, slung over over her back. Oh yeah, well, actually you got a better look at the kobold as well. Um, all the other kobolds had um, slightly red tinge to their scales. And this one is more greenish grey, which uh, helps a lot with um, ble um no, not really with uh, stealthing up in the forest, leading into the scenery, staying unseen, and across her back was some apparition you you haven't seen before. It had a really it had a wooden handle, and a conical conical shaped well these days we would say barrel next to it but in, in all your travels you haven't seen anything like that before but you guess it's it's infused with some kind of magic to shoot something over that long distances so imagine with is it a conical shape I'm just imagining this you know the Cartoonish uh, gun or shotgun that has like that. Oh, like a blunderbuss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I I've got two rages left, and I have used action surge. It'd be nice to have that back. I think the rages shouldn't be a problem though. I mean, I'm not in dire need. It would be nice to have the wild shape back, but that's not really that necessary. Action surgery would be a short rest, right? Yes. Some yeah. have not noted that. Anyway, yeah, okay. I mean, I can probably get by without it, it's just it would be nice to have for a critical moment, but um, I think two rages is fine. Still got second wind. I mean, theoretically, kind of your brook's good to go. I kind of burns for my spells, but I guess I'm good. Well, you were very trigger happy with the fireball, yes. They asked for it. And True. It did look cool. I have like four more of these, so I think I'm good to go. Yeah, well, I say then let me go. And this is the part where we all die of fatal overconfidence. But I wouldn't know anything about that, would I, Valu? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, I think we should be as stealthy as possible here. Stealthy? It's yes. hard to be stealthy and hopping across the rocks, but I guess we can try. Well, up until that point, uh, I think it's no problem, but after we go in, I assume there's a cave uh, behind that. One, you can also search for an alternative way to approach the waterfall. Now, does it look like there's anything alternative? <laughs> um, well... He didn't jump through, like, in the center. It was a bit more off to the like an east east side of the waterfall. So maybe if you go close to the shore and have a look. Yeah, Albrook's going to make a survival check to see if he can... Well, I presume it would be survival. To <laughs> yeah, it would be. See if he can see an alternate way through. Oh, can I'll help him out as well. Oops. Yes, same here. 22. So yeah, going around the shoreline and reaching the cliff wall. You do see that there, well, it takes you some time looking, but there are actually small steps that lead from the shoreline towards, well, behind the waterfall. You don't see from this angle where they are leading. But you think that there's a few more steps and you'll be through the waterfall into whatever is behind it. Some of them are below the waterline and they don't seem to have been carved out for people with long legs. Since you're all pretty big, you can easily take a couple of them with one step. It would be a bit slippery, but definitely a more covered approach than skipping over the rocks. So does it look like that he's been uh, that the cobalt was uh, skipping across the rocks because he can't reach these steps or? For the drake it would have been quite troublesome to balance around in his stage probably. Oh okay. For the cobalt rider alone it shouldn't have been a problem. Now the rock kind of shrugs and leads the way and can I try and stealth up at this point yes you can and everybody else who wants to stealth up can also take a roll I, uh, uh, let, let him go then because he's going first <laughs> well, theoretically he's actually not that bad at it for some reason bugbears get a natural stealth advantage woohoo 14 <laughs> is that two Natural ones. Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and neither of them are is me. Well, as you make your way across the steps and closer to the waterfall, a lot of splashing, a lot of cursing, but you realize that the roaring of the waterfall is that loud that it doesn't really make a difference. And all of you, as all of you come around through the water, which heavily sloshes down on your shoulders as you pass. Afterwards, you stumble dripping wet right into a dimly lit cave, which is dominated by two huge piles of coins. It's mostly copper from what you see, but there's also some silver and gold pieces sprinkled into it. And what you do see on the uh, the, the, the eastern side, no, southern side of the cave is some wooden structure and feed up into the air, which is kind of lining like a balcony the southern side of that cave. And what you do spot are a lot of kobolds, a lot of hunting drakes, and something that looks like a really, really tiny green dragon. All awaiting your arrival. Yay! Alright. Oh, is it is it uh, is it's is it lit any uh, anyhow? Uh, it's um brightly lit through the waterfall for, let's say. Yeah, sixty feet ish, and 
uh, from there on, it's dimly lit. So there's no like dimly lit. torches or fires or anything. Nope. There's some um, there's some columns of light piercing through the the roof of the cave, and that just dimly illuminates the rest. Hot lights. If you want? Damn it. Hmm. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, well, wait a second, I actually need to move your tokens as well, right? Can I just pull them from the sidebar and just has the right HP and shit attached? Yep. So will I have seen everybody regardless of stealth rolls? Going into uh, this? They have seen you, yeah. You're pretty much okay. outlined against... Yeah, you can arrange yourself like you want, and then a second, roll initiative. Uh, um, map. Oh yeah, map. <laughs> you, I missed something. Pity I was gonna hide under that conveniently placed overturned rowboat that just happened to also be there. Uh, not this time. So the waterfall that is kind of oh, like shit. the western edge. So we've kind of just come in from this corner. From there, yeah, you can. The waterfall is spanning. Okay, well, I did say I was kind of out the front. Like a lot more here, so you can position yourselves where you want there. Uh, okay. Also, a couple of feet in if you want. It's, you stumble through there and first need to orientate yourselves. Um, so I presume n uh, nothing here provides cover, or...? Um, the rocks, uh, rock piles to the south would. And you see on y your side, basically the south, uh, you have this rope ladder leading up to the platforms. And uh, if you're below the platform, you can't get it from above the platform. Okay. Just as a quick question, why do they have children's ball pits? <laughs> for for, uh, for Ubok, of course. Well, uh, you see perched atop one of the platforms a tiny, tiny version of a green dragon. And you suppose this are uh, their mini hordes? Oh, those are the piles of coins and things you mentioned. Okay, yes. right. It's just... It, it, uh, is, is this a, is this like a miniature dragon or is it a wormling? It's a very young green dragon. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A really, really tiny one. <laughs> uh, I rolled twice my initiative. Uh, my first one was seven. I don't know if you can change it or not. Uh, yeah, I can. Rolled twice by accident. Yes, like this. Yeah, give me a second, I forgot for which guys I rolled, for which I didn't. How high are the platforms? Uh, 10 feet. So not too much. Cobalt that's quite a bit, but... For you, you can reach them if you jump, basically. I don't think Obrook would even have to jump for that. <laughs> yeah. Roll for the dragon? No. Okay. Ending. Quickly check what you actually see. Yeah, cool. Okay. So in what you do see are a couple of drakes. Uh, the one... Oh, how does Hunter's Mark actually work? Do you feel the presence? Uh, yeah. Okay, then you know that in the south east just, corner. Just look at Waluwet now and you'll know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, there was, a, there was a wasp in my room. See, he cut in some detail. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, to the southeast, uh, your target is hunkering down in the dim-lit parts waiting. 
uh, take off my bow and shoot at that, at that sniper who keeps getting away. All right. Uh, has an acted it, so advantage, sharpshooter. Yeah, it's really boring when they just fire from range all the time, isn't it, Valu? Yeah. Yeah, it's unfair play. Yeah, it does hit 26 damage. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah, you, you see the cobalt definitely hurting. Alright, next one. What? <laughs> 11 doesn't hit. For fuck's sake. Well, oh. then my extra attack for the uh, first turn. 25? 27. Because of the dread ambusher. As your third arrow hits the kobold through the chest and she drops down from the platform, hitting the floor with a thunk. And get away from me! Hey! Yoga is. Do something! I wait. Right. <laughs> Next up is another of the wing kobolds. This one looking a bit different with his breastplate being, well, glowing, well, not glowing, shining in a slightly copper, coppery fashion. And he's going to cast... Oh. Going to cast, actually. And I might not be costing anything for now. He's uh, going to start flapping down towards the dragon. Not high in the air, just maybe five feet above the floor. Are those, are those mounds of coins and gems and things, are they high enough to provide cover? Um, from everything that's on the ground? Probably, okay. if you if you crouch, and uh, if they are on the platforms, they probably would still have shots. Right. Oh. Beats. The young dragon really overconfident and wanting to protect. Forward, let's out a shriek and starts charging into all of you. The end of his stream. Lothian. I am going to cast um, Summer Minor Elemental. Alright. To cast an Azer between um, Gonthak and uh, Dragon. But like here. Right. Here, yeah, not in between them, here. And um, that's another matter. Hey, Ubrook, you're up this small, tiny, teeny dragon flying in front of you. Is it cute? Uh, it is. Not as cute as sea train, but pretty close. Uh, I'm going to say Ubrook's feeling distinctly unthreatened by this small cute winged flying creature so he's gonna uh he's gonna just try and literally grab it out of the air <laughs> all right would be athletics or strength whatever you want uh athletics i guess all right Oh, and oh, night! Yeah, <laughs> you you grab the dragon out out of the air into a bear hug, and it's currently a uh, bear hug, and it's currently grappled. Can I kind of try and shuffle it around so I'm like holding it under one arm? 
Uh, that that might be a bit too much. Okay, it's it's quite right. a strong dragon. So I'm, it's, I'm it's... currently hugging the dragon. Yes. Okay. And it's grappled. Uh, is there actually a condition thingy for it? Um, I'm just going to turn around and look at the others and go, Hey guys, look, I got a new pet! Nice! Don't let it bite you. <laughs> actually, you can keep, take, take good care of it. And I, I try and pet the dragon. Oh, right. And that's my turn. Hey, seeing you oh, catch their <laughs> the brethren out of the air, the hunting drakes that have a screech and start making their way towards you. Those ones just gonna move in. And uh yeah, the first one that reaches you actually gets to make an attack. Okay. Um twenty, does it? Yep, and I'm not raging, so that's gonna be the full Oh ten damage. I see it scratches into you. And it will also take damage. Oh we're heated body. Oh no wait. No, I misread it. It's it. Never mind. It okay. doesn't. I misread it, like usual. End of their turn. Um, the kobolds are um, not really fancying their chances hitting someone in that clash of bodies. And they're gonna shoot their crossbows at Geralt instead. Oh, nothing is close. So it's going to be 9, 11, and 11 to hit. Nope. All three of them fly past you into the waterfall, doing no harm. And it's your turn. Alrighty. Um... Uh, yeah, fuck it, why not? I'll cast a fairy fire on, uh, trying to hit the uh, two cobalt hunting drakes in front of me. Okay. I uh, guess I have to either hit myself or the Aether as well. I'm not sure. Uh, probably. You can hit the Aether, it's fine. Can you make a saving throw for him then? I mean, I could do like some weird angling stuff, but apart from that, I don't know. Okay. So they don't make the saves. So they're all glowing. Just humming shine world like a, like a diamond now. <laughs> Which color, actually? Ah, uh, blue. They are way too red otherwise. They are all glowing in blue now. And shouting to Toon, Hey, we can finally kill a dragon! <laughs> Good. Giving uh, inspiration. Ooh. And I've done. Hey, Gothic, finally they're coming to you for once. Finally. And. Seeing that the dragon is a bigger prize, he would, uh... Uh, oh well. I will like to use, um... Yeah, I'd like to use, uh, Green Flame Blade. On uh, the co the they kobold um I what they're called hunting hunting drake? drake yeah the hunting drake in front of me right go for it and fight to make 
14 doesn't hit, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't have advantage because of the... Very fire. No, it's not on this, this dragon. It's not on those, it's on the one with the blue dots. Oh, sorry. Okay, then I would like to just use my second attack. My second... Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey. I have to blow into the dragon. Not Drake. Sorry, important distinction now. <laughs> and if um, yeah, that was the end of my turn. Oh, the Azer is up. And the Azer will attack the Cobalt Hunting Dragon in front of him with his Warhammer. Right. Oh, seven doesn't it? It's advantage. 24. Oh, you're both blue. Yeah, 24 does hit, and it's 21 plus one fire. Is that already? Oh yeah, it's already with the. Thingy. Yeah. Uh, how does it roll one d eighteen? I don't know. <laughs> this is just. Yeah. Okay, if you that's hover... curious. Yeah, I don't know. This is the stuff that you give me, wasp. Okay, then it's one d eight, and I just. Probably. The... <laughs> Probably. I mean, I'm looking at the speed. The speed is also thirty nine feet. Yeah. You know, I've been all of them doing them, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, oh. they work that well so far. Um, <laughs> what is it, minor elemental? It's, yeah. And... Azer. Warhammer, there we go. 1d8. <laughs> okay, okay, try again. 12 plus 1, that sounds so weird. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to roll again then? Uh, yeah, but just for the damage. So basically, just roll, we take the damage. Yeah, 9 damage seems a bit more reasonable. Ah, 21 damage sounds so much fun. 9 damage, yes. it's glowing warhammer hits the dragon. And that's the end of its turn? Hey, turn, you're up. Right, so, I mean, uh, it, that one guy didn't cast a spell? Uh, nope. Do I know that he's a spellcaster or not? No, I'm probably not. You've, okay. The only wing kobolds you've seen so far have been dropping bombs. Good. Then I have the excuse to do the less optimal thing and finally, finally, piercing arrow. Oh, is it a line? <laughs> yes, it is a line. <laughs> I was looking at this. At this uh... How does this work if uh, Ubrook is grappling him? It's still within its own space. Oh, okay, cool. It's a, grappling is basically you are just holding on, so he doesn't can't move. It's not very hard, even though that's more hard to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> it is, yeah. even though it isn't. Yeah, uh, and I would like to do that with sharpshooter as well, because it is still an attack, even though I don't roll for it. Hey. Um. So hang on. <laughs> just looking that I have the. Uh, I'll just put this up first. So I just roll once, right? For the damage. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then plus 10 from the sharpshooter. Oh, okay. So it's 23 each because they all failed their save. No, no, uh, 27, because 13, 14, uh, plus 10. Uh, 13, plus 4, plus 10. Where does the plus 4 come from? Uh, that's from the piercing arrow. It does uh, extra ah, one d extra. Okay. All right. What did you say? 27. 27, yeah, okay. Taking hefty chunks out of the 
dragons as your blue ethereal arrow passes through them. A brook yells out, Hey, don't hurt Tiddles! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but that's no bad. And I uh, use my second attack to just sharpshooter the dragon. Or do I get uh, any... Does he get cover from anything from the creatures in front? No, probably not. Okay. Oh, we, we could say... You have disadvantage, and then you have advantage because he's grappled, and it's normal attack. Well, I mean, I can just move here as well. <laughs> that also works. So. Yeah. Good. Just uh, there's no, and then sharpshooter. Uh, how? Twenty-five and eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. All right. At twenty-five, that's it. That dragon looks hurt by a lot. Mm, I, then I just uh, show that if I have time, like, like, finish the dragon before it gets a chance to attack. But it's cute! Yeah, and if I don't, because I have literally done everything I can. Well, Brooks I clearly never seen a full sized one. Actually, I haven't done anything. I, I can uh, hunt this mark on the uh, on the flying guy. Flying guy. Yeah. Give me a sec. Oh, wait. Let me measure this. Oh, I, yeah. Is, is that long, far away? Yeah, it, it doesn't look that much, but it's just enough. Yeah. Hunter's mark. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and then that guy gonna cast cure wounds on the hunting drake next to him. How do I do this here? This way? Ah, perfect. Okay. So you see his hands glowing, he puts them on the drake and the drake starts looking a lot healthier than beforehand. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, he does. Um, he then moves forward onto the platform. Hope it's enough range. Just to hit the dragon least and it's gonna he's going to cast mass healing word is it a bonus action as a bonus action wow yeah oh yeah because fuck, can you use ah damn it <laughs> but oh you it's just a really really minor healing yeah but still <laughs> And that's the end of its turn. The drake is trying to break free. <laughs> so... I, I imagine it's rather like another... holding onto a cat. A very angry cat <laughs> that doesn't want to be held onto. Uh, you have to make another strength check. Just a straight strength? Or athletics. Or, or athletics. I'll, I'll go, I think athletics is probably going to be my better role. Okay, yeah, he's struggling and struggling. You get a few scratches in the in the process, but you still have him tight. Bad Mr. Tiddles! Bad Mr. Tiddles! And Lawson, it's your turn. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? I will... move to here, and I will cast... Um, Poison spray on that hunting dragon. Alright. And that damage is incorrect, damn it. But that's not my fault this time. Yeah, no, this is the, this is my own fault. Oh, okay, he makes the save. Then he takes no damage anyways. Okay, in that case he takes no damage. Okay, that's the end of my turn. 
the poison starts to sizzle a little bit on its scales, but not penetrating. Oh look, there's breaks everywhere and one of them is not behaving. Can I... Can I do a kick as an unarmed attack? Without yes, you letting can. go of the dragon? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to aim a solid kick at that marked glowy drake there. Alright, you've advantage on your kick. Uh, what will I roll for that? Unarmed, I think, is 1d4 damage wise. Yeah, but for uh, attacking, it's just 1d20 plus uh, your normal attack modifier for strength. Which is going to be plus a 4? Yes. Uh, plus your uh, proficiency. Uh, so, what the... so that's plus, plus 8 total. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 8. All right. Oh, this is, might be quite a decent attack then. <laughs> 95 hits. Okay. Uh, what am I rolling for damage there? Oh no, this is always one damage, one blood turning. Oh, is it only one? Okay. I do one damage. One no, that's for uh, monks. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, in that case, the dragon takes one damage on the snout. Okay. So I don't get any, any, any oh, extra from uh, the fairy fire for damage, it's just advantage on the attacks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you set that it's be the one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before as well. It's like, ah, that's a bit much. <laughs> but you can do a second very kick strong kick. If you want. I, th I think that's, I don't know. I mean, do I get another attack because I've got two attacks? Yeah, yeah, you can make another kick. Okay, alright, we'll do that then. Thirteen. Well, technically, you can roll the second time, so there's advantage. Oh, yep. You know, I'll just press that up or do do the last one. Does it oh, no. do that? It does that. I did not know that. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, both of those <laughs> miss. I stubbed my toe. It hurts. Anyway, I oh, did bro, a point the of dragon, damage. The dragon. The dragon. <laughs> All right, so the hunting drakes. Would I just as a thought? Would I technically have a third attack here? Do Isn't the only one you're raging, or? No, I'm just wondering because normally I get you know the offhand attack. Would I get an off yeah, but, foot but, attack? <laughs> but is it only when you're ra raging, or? Uh, no, that's dual wielder, right? Or is it rage? Oh, it's oh yeah, it's your uh, yeah dual wielder offhand attack. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so you're not building a weapon at least in my opinion. Well, yeah, um... it's just I, it was just a thought. I, I guess it wouldn't really make sense to get an extra. <laughs> and it would be a bit. Well, if you can do it while standing on one feet to use its feet to also kick that dragon, that would be very interesting. <laughs> I just imagine Uppruck looks rather undignified right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I guess that's my turn then, yeah. All right. Uh, the little, little bit healed up hunting drake that's going to take his revenge on Turin, or at least he's going to next turn if he's still alive. You know, he's <sighs> moved up. I was just like, that's a lot of movement and attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He just rushed up, but he's definitely set on you. And um, the two hunting drakes are gonna take Ubruk, <laughs> attack Ubruk for coming down. Their friend. I should have raged. Advantage. Oh well, never mind. Too late now. Yeah, you should have. Um, 24, 23, 27. Oh, that's a crit. And 20. So I guess they will hit. Everything hits. I Ooh. really wish I'd raged. Oof, 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 oof. 40 damage. 
Ouch. Okay. That stung a little bit. Forty? Yeah. Oh, four God. hits. They both have multi attacks. Oh. So yeah. Um. Really. They're definitely raged. not happy you are hugging their boss. <laughs> um. Yeah. The one handy rate that's above soft deck is gonna move around and gonna attack him as well. Which is going to be. 25 and 19 to hit. Both hit. That, that makes 21 piercing damage in total. And the last one is going for Geralt. With 16... Oh, sorry, 13 and 14. Which both don't hit, I guess. Yep. Just clawing at the air. This turn. Um, Kobolds. Kobolds are going to do crossbow bolts into Geralt as well. Last time they didn't hit. Does 17 hit? Nope. And they don't hit again. <laughs> <laughs> again, another volley going into the waterfall. Bad luck on the airport. Your turn, Geralt. You have a hunting drake in your face now. Cool. Well, uh, disengage action, because that guy is way too close. Because that's kind of lame, a uh, quickened spell and force level scotting way. <laughs> okay, take it. So that five, uh, that's five ways, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's like three and two, four or five, yeah. There's advantage. I'm gonna do the damage after all. Two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. Okay. Everything above 15 hits. Those so 15 doesn't. Yeah, 15 doesn't. Damn it. Oh. I've got to. Uh, I've got to go. Unfortunately. Oh, All right. uh, thanks for coming, and I hope whoever's gonna gonna control your character is not gonna kill it. Uh, twenty-five. Yep. As three scorching rays hit him from different sides, watching him up pretty badly. Oh, wait, did I have inspiration for a yeah. uh, party? Yeah, yes. okay, that's like that. Okay, end of my turn. Okay, uh, who of you guys wants to play a samurai for a while? I can. Actually, I'm gonna move back there. I can as well, I don't mind. So can I, but... First come, first serve. <laughs> well, okay, check whether you can control them. Uh, yes, I can. Perfect, then it's your turn. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> God damn it, Valu. Why are you not prepared? <laughs> <laughs> As, he hasn't used action search yet, I guess. And nothing else. Magic initiated? What? What spell does he have? Uh, green flaming blade? Uh, no, that's the... That's the... A cantrip. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Oh, I forgot this. Why hasn't he used that before the fight? Damn it! Uh, <laughs> it's an action. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Right. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action, I would like to use. Uh, this, which is uh, horribly formatted, oh, my apologies, not my fault, uh, it gives first of all 5 temporary hit points and then uh, gives advantage on all attack. Yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, and then it also gives resistance to something, if I remember correctly. Does it say here? No. Doesn't say. Oh, that's a old version then that I'm thinking of. All right. Anyway, uh, advantage uh, on the one on loss inside. Attacking with uh, creature. Oh, no. thank God for that advantage. That does it. Ten damage. A huge swing. Connecting with the Drake. And then another attack as well. I'm so glad that I used advantage. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had the second one. Bring in below half HP. Alright, um, and that's. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be enough there. Then. Right, the Azer. Azer will st still attack the same uh, hunting drake. Yep, with advantage because fair fire. Yep. So, no, 11 doesn't hit. Okay, that's the end of its turn. Blowing hammer, slicing the air. Eating that up at least. Turn, your turn. The hunting drake you've been hitting yep. from a distance quite a lot. Close set distance. Right, uh, first of all, I am going to use uh, my. Do I get anything from second level from this? No, I'm going to use my first level. Uh, the second level spell, spell is to cast first level as a pure strike. Uh, yeah. And going there. Then I'll I'll actually um do try to shoot the spellcaster because now I know that he's spellcaster. All right. Uh, sharpshooter on that. And uh, yeah, just no. Yep. Yep. And also, um, there's more damage on both of them. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. So uh, we've had two ones and then two sixes. What's that in total? Yeah. 54? Uh, yeah. Whew. <laughs> oh, he's barely standing. <laughs> well, is it? Oh, I almost wish I would have done that 1d8 extra damage now as well, but uh, that's going to be end of my turn. You have, you can use uh, inspiration for damage. Oh, can I? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to do that. If I can, I still can. But... Yeah, sure. Thank you. I always forget that the yeah, fucking Valor bar. Hey, not, 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 not a six, but hey. Six is what we would have needed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> standing on one HP. Somebody sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Violently. Oh, hey, wait, hang on. It's a humanoid, right? Uh, yeah. Plus Ooh, four extra damage, I think. Yeah, four extra damage then from favorite enemy. Which oh. I've completely forgotten so far. So, oh, as a slight <laughs> afterthought, he just <laughs> said, after all. Oh, come on, I want to try a banishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperately trying to kill anything that does anything special. Yeah, I know just. <laughs> End of my turn. So, the very young dragon tried to get free, didn't work. This time, I'm gonna try to bite and claw its way free. Okay. Um, but the attacks are with disadvantage then, no? No. No? Okay, no. then it's 24 and 21 to hit. Does hit? Hey, that's um, 18 piercing damage and 2 poison damage. So, 20 in total. I'm going to check that, uh, but I'm pretty sure it... Crabble is only for... 
I really regret not raging for the last and time. That's the end of its turn. I really, really regret it. Yeah, I'll see yet. I will move. Oh. Shall I or. Ah. Uh... I will. I'm thinking whether or not I should heal pointy, but it's for just very little. No. I'm going to walk down. And I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to cast... I can't pronounce this. Shillalai. That's a really weird spell. So and then I'm going it. to... Yes, and now I'm going to... Um, hit the hunting drake in front of me with my quarter stuff. Alright, go for it. Does hit. Actually does quite a lot of damage. Smack him into the side. And that's the end of my turn. Right, Ubrook. Everything is clawing at you. There's just claws and drakes and I, oh god. I would like to rage, please. <laughs> it's understandable yes. in the circumstances. Everybody would. would Even the calmest like of minds. Kill the dragon! Um, to actually attack the dragon, I'd have to like go of it, right? No, you wouldn't actually. I was just wondering it. about, could I like literally try and bear hug it to death, or is that a really terrible idea? Um, it would be interesting to rule. <laughs> Now, let's see, how much HP does it actually have? Well, we could do it in a kind of challenge way. Like, your strength against his, okay. and uh, his constitution. And like, if you get three wins, or whoever gets three wins first, wins that round. This okay. I I'm willing to try this first. However, I will use second wind uh, just to get a little bit of extra health back as my bonus. So that's going to be one d ten plus seven. Yeah, it will be. No, it'll be one d ten plus. Oh, I've forgotten. It's fighter level, isn't it? So it's one one d ten plus two. Plus seven will be quite nice, but alas, no. Well, that was the best I was going to get. Oh, that's quite a lot. I mean, that's 24 normal damage, if you're raging. That you can soak up now. Indeed. Um, okay, so how do we do this? Um, well, you start with a strength or athletics check, which one you prefer. That's... Then I'm going to roll the save. But it's pointless to ask that because athletics is basically strength check plus your proficiency if you're proficient. So ah, athletics okay. always. <laughs> yeah. yeah, makes sense. Uh, yeah, one win for you. Okay. Second win for you. <laughs> Keep squeezing and squeezing. I'm doing it really regretfully, but it's just, you know, it had its chance to play nice, so... Yeah, okay. Three clear strikes in your favor. As you keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing, and... I'm guessing I, you know, hear the snap of ribs breaking or something. Yeah, you hear the ribs breaking... But you keep going at this point, and the ribs penetrate out of the <laughs> yeah, out okay. of the skin of the drake as you drop it to the ground, just a lifeless husk. I look at it a little bit regretfully, but not that regretfully. But it was <laughs> cute. Good job, Overwood. <laughs> I 
I, I know the mental image of Uber crying while bear hugging the dragon. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's got the culture. He's like, <laughs> I did want to do it. Um, right. That's going to count as like my full action for the turn, right? Yeah, you still have your movement left. Okay. Um, well, there's no way to do it without taking two attacks of opportunity, so I think I'll just stay put. All right. Because I might as well. Hey, the hunting drake's going to attack you with renewed fury now that you not just <laughs> killed, but basically tortured. <laughs> Since you just making me feel worse, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 24, 19, 11, and 18 to it. Um, everything except the 11. Okay, so it's going to be 23 halved, so 11 damage. Yeah, thank, thank god it is halved this time. Hey, um... Yeah, that hunting drake is going to get his revenge. And his brother is going to join. I'm oh. back. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry. Oh, uh, you used one fighting spirit, by the way. Yeah, well, it makes me okay. a part-time samurai. Holy shit, that's two crits. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh, two crits, uh, six and twenty-three. So, twenty-three hits, I guess. Oh, yeah. I thought that was okay. damage. <laughs> no, no. 18, 18, I was very really confused. Uh, 35 damage. Yeah. Oh. yeah, these things hurt. They finally sink their fangs into you. End of their turn. Um, yeah. Kobolds have reach. Yeah. The kobolds are gonna use their crossbolts. Crossbow bolts this time at Lossian, since Geralt made it out of their bird range. Uh oh. <laughs> and this is just a minor element, not a real elemental. Um, so, one crit, 18 and 15. Uh, all hit? All hit, okay. Um, 18 damage. In total? In total. Uh, Okay, yeah, separate ones doesn't matter. How many attacks were with that hit? Three. And do I now have to make three uh, constitution saving throws? Yep. Yay. Ooh. And you failed the first two. <laughs> um, except. I have advantage. Hmm. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that makes stay in control slightly. Yes. Well, like this is not control. If I feel this one, it will just dispel. Oh, it's a minor element, not a real elemental. Okay, oh, I, I, I thought they had the same thing still, but no. Yeah, me too. Uh, no. <laughs> but it's so disappointed. Like, oh, I like for nothing. They're not for nothing. I mean, they're defending their. Wooden structure they really built with a lot of enthusiasm. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> Carol, it's your turn. Um. Well, but I'll save some, sorry, right? Uh, Scotching way, two for the one under Turin and one for the one under Oberg. Okay, so all with advantage. Yep. All of them hit. That's was one under. What do? Yeah. Wow. That's was one uh, under Uberg. Oh, that's the all impact their targets to an equal amount of damage. What he said, uh, still alive. Um. 
Those ones are beefy. Uh, well, another two sorcery points to get a fire bolt on the one next to water. Don't worry about me, though. I'm not. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> nope. It flies past him into the waterfall where it sizzles at you. Arthur, your turn. There's still two hunting drakes flanking. Nasty little buggers. Still not dead yet. Oh. Okay. Um. I'd like to cast. Green flame blade again. Go for it. And make my attack. And damage. Right, it's still standing, but looking. Uh, plus, plus 1d8. Is it plus 1d8, is it? Yep. No. Yep. And there's also a flame that jumps to another different creature of your choice within 5 feet. And does it have to be five feet of the creature or yourself? Yeah, also creature. The creature. Yeah, then in this case, it's kind of. Yeah. Can it just stay there and not leap? I mean, you could make it jump onto Lassie, I suppose. <laughs> Depends which one he attacked. It doesn't really matter which one I've attacked. Um. Okay, uh, then as long as it can't leap, I guess it should have to just stay there. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, it was six extra damage as well. Yeah, basically, you just slash the dragon and the green fire afterwards erupts in the wound. Not leaping anywhere this time. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. A uh, second attack? Oh, yeah, or... I do, didn't I? No, he it, green flame blade is an action. Is oh, it an okay. action? Oh shit! Oh well. Okay, then end of your turn. Azer. Azer move to here, and smash that same cobalt hunting drake. Ooh, double advantage. Doesn't matter, anyways. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's it really has trouble hitting this drake. It's the blue bluish tint is really not helping. Yeah, I think it's confused because it's glowing, but it's already glowing, so I think that's just confusing it. Yeah. Right, that's the end of it, sir. They're in. Right, like, uh, they hurt. Right, Karel, you got these? Yep, good. Alright. Uh, sure. He isn't leaving, is. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> and because <laughs> I have Scepter Strike still, so no attacks of prudency. Yeah. And uh, then, actually, can I take this back? Yeah. You didn't attack anything yet. Because if I, so up to you how you want to rule this. If I attack uh, in melee range, the one between our, uh, me and Geralt, with a bow. I don't get this advantage from uh, because uh, close quarters shooter. Do I get advantage from flanking? Oh, I mean you should. Yeah. Like it's not like you get both or anything. Yeah, I think okay. you do. Okay. Then I would like to uh, attack the one above me. Uh, twice. Uh, the first one with the extra silver strike. Damage as well, and both the sharpshooter advantage. Okay, Safer Strike was 1d8 extra. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I'll just attack once with the Safer Strike damage, just to see if it dies from that. No. No, it doesn't. Because I rolled a 1 on the damage. Great. So, uh, 
Attack it a second time. Oh, yeah, I didn't hit him because of 14. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even check. I was just like, yeah, he hits anyway. So I'll do the damage for uh, this then. Okay, so. But two. 14 with advantage of damage. Still alive. Yeah, and because I used the. Uh, I'll just actually put the Zephyr Strike up again, just to carry this. So, uh, because I used the uh, extra damage now, I have 30 feet of extra movement. Yep. So... I'm gonna fuck off! See ya! <laughs> I've seen Tapexis that are more stationary. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would like to use my bonus action for second wind, and then after that, end of my turn. Right, Lothian. Um, well, I will use that weird name thingy to attack the um, strike between mm. me again. Uh, yeah. Hey, that finishes him clear off as you strike him across. Ahead, breaking it open okay, and, to the ground. And then I'll move to here. Alright, end of yep. your turn? That's the end of my turn. Look. Which of the. The tears have dried. <laughs> yeah, which, which of these uh, two drakes looks the most injured? Uh, the one above you. Just saying, you have advantage on the one below you. Yeah, yes. I know. I just, uh, I was thinking that it might be good to finish off that one, but then of course there's no longer. I'm the only one that's being flanked either way, and as I'm being flanked either way, so they'll be attacking with advantage either way. I will use reckless attack, and attack the one to the south to start with. You have advantage on it anyway. In fact, I'll attack the one to, to the north then. <laughs> <laughs> so I have advantage. That was the thing that was in my brain, and then yeah, yes, I, th I thought so. <laughs> yeah, you combined it the right way now. <laughs> I got part of the way there. It's fine. Right. Um... I was like, you were was like, hey, that's pretty smart. And you said south, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Eighteen hits. Uh, Twenty-seven, will be. Oh yeah. You're right. 27, so that's it. 14. Yeah, it's still standing. Okay, attack number two, same target. 25. 25 hits. Again. If you do it another time, he's dead. Um, yeah, okay, I will just use my final attack then on the same one. Another 25. Yeah. 11 points. One more than you needed. Dragon drops, you're not flanked anymore. Hooray! Oh, that one's still going to get advantage until my next turn. Probably. Um, your turn? Yeah, that's, that's my turn. Hey, it's the hunting drakes. Well, seeing Turin disappear swiftly, there's only one target left Go to hunt. <laughs> Geralt. <laughs> As Sorry. the two dragons <laughs> gonna attack whatever is left. Um, holy shit! All above twenty. Uh, I have a shield that I would like to okay. use. So I'm on twenty-three now. That's good. That's uh, that's out two of them. It's gonna be eighteen damage in total. Piercing. Okay. And the last one is gonna back with advantage on Ubrook. So we have 17 and 25. Uh, I think they're both. Yeah, they're both hit. Okay. 23, half, 11, 11. 11 piercing damage coming your way. Okay. Yeah, Ubrook's starting to look a little. <laughs> So, the kobolds are going to shoot at the Azer because that seems to be uh, putting their 
hunting drake companion in danger. Yeah, there is there. Um, nine, seventeen, and eighteen. Um, seventeen and eighteen hit. So it's gonna be twelve. Piercing damage coming its way. Mm. Yeah, Yo, it's your turn. The turin just left you to the drakes. <laughs> that guy's a jerk. This is so weird. I hear very calm, coming music from this, and in the background, <laughs> I hear very hard hardcore. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to switch music again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to get used to this. So you didn't want to mention it this time. Why not? Because I wanted to see how long it would take for you to notice. <laughs> Give me half an hour. Probably. Um. You know what? Disengage action. <laughs> Solid. Dylan, I got a present for you. No, no, no. <laughs> That's my turn. Hey, Gothic. There are two hunting rakes to the north and one to the south. Which one do you want to go for? Has he fallen asleep? Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> he's close, he's getting close. No, 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 it's right. Uh, sorry, say that again, Wasp. <laughs> yeah, there are two to the north and one to the south. Which one do you want to go for? Um, let's go to the one for the south. Alright. Um,. I'll just m make two attacks with the great swords. Uh, second one hits. I oh, know. Yeah, second one hits. And slashing damage as you slash across it. They look pretty healthy, although it's flanked from all sides. Now, if you do. Um. I'd like to move towards the kobolds down there. Right. The dragon's gonna take a f take a take a opportunity. Twelve? No, twelve doesn't it? All right. Azer is next. They're gonna hit this time. Let's see. Yes. Yes, he's gonna hit. So nine damage coming towards the dragon. And that's the end of the Asia's turn. Right, Turin. Harold is coming, t running towards you, bringing in presents. Which one of them uh, seems more hurt? South. Which one? Anyway, one I'm, I'm gonna shoot that one. Without fairy fire. Yeah. Oh yeah, fairy fire. Yeah, the one that is more hurt. Okay. No. The one with the, the fairy fire. Huh? <laughs> the one with the fairy fire. Oh, right. Yeah, hit 19. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to move him for a second. Bit overlapping. But yeah, still cling on. And I'm going to keep moving. Yeah, like, that's it. Keep, keep, keep them busy. Keep them busy. Good job. Leading from the rear. <laughs> I'll see in your turn. I will move to here, and I will cast ice knife on that cobalt because they were shooting me earlier. I'm going oh, to. S rude. I'm going to fire back. Uh, Twenty-two hits, definitely.
Yep, they don't make the saves and they all get pierced by ice shards. Ending their short COVID lives. That's what they get from shooting me. Wow, they were not tough. You showed them. And five feet. Cobalt variety. Yeah, it's five feet or wasp, so the last one wouldn't have died. Oh. Well, he miraculously springs back to his feet. Just faints death. Oh, not minus seven. Normal seven. No, no, not that one. This one would have survived. That one is still dead. Oh, that one is still dead. It miraculously drops to his <laughs> to the ground again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's some fathoms. You know he's dying. It happens. That that third one thinks he's dead, but then he pulls out his his like metal cigarette case and the ice shard had lodged in it and stopped it <laughs> from going in his heart. Exactly. All right, Ubrook, your turn. I I'm just gonna wail on that, uh, that remaining Go for it. That's between us. Sixteen. Hits. Just about. Both standing. It's. Oh, but yeah. Okay, if you do it again, he's dead. Eighteen. It's gonna hit. You have advantage. Yep. So it's off. And off with his head. It Another gives, dragon. It gives a big feet. roar, and then. Uh, You'll do the one. Can I swig down? A healing potion. As a bonus action, you can, yeah. Because I have one of them left, so I'll mark that off. And uh, that's. Oh, 2d6? Uh, uh, 2d4 what plus kind two. is it? I think it's just a regular healing potion. Is it 2d4 plus 2? Yep. Okay. Two plus two plus two. Very neat. And uh, I will, against all sound logic and you know, because he's angry and raging, is just gonna run over to the remaining drakes. All right. That's my turn. Oh, the one glowing with fairy fire. Gonna charge at Geralt. Gonna pounce at him. Just my reminder. It's it with oh, a claw. Not it's advantage. Okay. Uh, uh. So, uh, nine. Does 17 hit? Or is the shield still up? Uh, now it's up. Uh, 17 doesn't hit either way. Yeah, okay. In that case, you're fine. <laughs> it's Already Casey. Pouncing at you, and the snout is just hitting the shield. And that's it. And right. the other one is clawing its way at Ubruk. Um, 20 and 23. Both hit. And that's 11 piercing damage. Okay. Ubruk and is that's... looking quite rough. Oh, one of the kobolds left, and he's going to shoot a Lossian for killing his. Yeah, 11. Not going to. And hit. ruining Next. his favorite. <laughs> 11 <laughs> hits. Oh, really? My AC is 11. All right, ten piercing damage as he gets his revenge. <laughs> after all, <laughs> eleven. How, 11, how yes. have you taken so little damage up till now? <laughs> because I'm not the one getting shot at. You what? Okay, all right. Um, Geralt, your turn. Get off me! Yeah, that hits. It that something. doesn't kill it. Yeah, no shit. It gets oh fuck wrong one. Uh, it gets zapped. So basically, you shake its hand with one of those electric okay, uh, things. Yeah. And it can't take reactions uh, until okay. the start of its next turn, <laughs> which I'm going to use to get up <laughs> and well limp away, I guess. All right. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Take off opportunity then. Yep. 
Are you sure you don't doing more? something about that one? Right. Uh, you can move more, by the way. I used half my movement to get up. Because um, I was prone. You, you didn't get knocked down, the shields blocked it. Ah. It's like only if I hit with a claw attack. Or oh, I okay. Right That's now. nice. Uh, would I be able to climb that uh, rip ladder? Is okay. Hmm. Then I'd like to move there and uh, stare down that cobloid. He's uh, he's having a minor heart attack. Okay. And if you don't. Uh yes. Okay. Then the Acer. Azer will move to, um, yeah, to here, and we'll attack that, um, hunting drag. Valiant effort. 16 this time? 16 does it. Yay, 5 damage. Alright, 4 left. And that's the end of its turn. Hey. Oh, I like how everyone is running away from the severely wounded Ubrook. <laughs> Just letting him face these last couple of drakes. They're in. There's a kobold and there are two drakes. Oh, not to be that's I'm shooting the one uh, above Ubrook. Okay. Probably it's probably because... Hits anyway. Probably because hitting Ubrook makes him smell even worse. And I, I've, I've been doused down. in beer and then I went through the waterfall. Ubrook smells... About as good as he's ever going to smell right now. Yeah, but afterwards you hugged a dragon to death. Well, that's true. There might be a bit of blood and gore, but that's just normal. <laughs> and poison. <laughs> yeah, that was dead as well. You're just cleaning up. Uh, up there, curled. Yeah. End of my turn. Elsian. I will move to again. there. And I will cast um, Poison Spray on him. Alright. Oh, actually, can I move here and as a bonus action pick up uh, a coin that looks especially interesting from the pile? Yes, you can. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, does make it 8 damage. It's 8 dead. damage. Dead a root. Yeah. Those hunting drakes. Actually, do damage once they get close. Mm -hmm. Once I get close, everything does damage here. Looks like it. I don't. But I kept the Azer, that doesn't do damage for some reason. I would have I so many more nothing. hit points if I just raged one turn earlier, but oh well. Can I <laughs> drop into one pile of money and do us now, Angel? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm going to do the same next to him. <laughs> Brooke goes to... down to the, next to the corpse of the dragon and pets it sadly. It fletchers. He's just oh. going to walk over here and it's illuminating the grounds for some reason. Are we going to end now? Yeah, we're going to end now. I already... I'd like to walk, as my last and final move, I'd like to walk up to the dragon and cut its head off. It's already Same. smashed you, Paul. You just keep slashing into it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Brooke looks looks a bit at, sad. Uh, up at you, because he's kneeling down with just eyes filled with a slight tinge of horror. You monster. But then he's the monster too! Would I, <laughs> instead of cutting his head off, then would I be able to uh, cut its heart out or something? Uh, yes, that you can. I'd like to take its heart. Still warm in your grasp. I just wanted a pet dragon. Is that so much to ask for? Oh well. Well, looking at the pile, they seem to be distinguished in two different pets. Just saying. 
also, that's where we end today's session. Uh, Took a bit longer again than I thought. Well, nobody died though, or even passed out. A good thing though, because if somebody would have went unconscious, they would have probably died from that. With that all that melee attack. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think if Ulbrook had passed out, that would have been it, pretty much. We were surrounded for quite a lot of that. Anyway, that was fun, though. Yeah. That's good to hear. We killed a dragon. A uh, tiny one. So, so is this turning into a one-shot in three parts? Is this not just like a mini-campaign at this point? Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it is an adventure at this point. Yeah. It is an adventure, yeah.